In this video, we're going to be using an Intel Atom netbook in 2023, showing the gaming and office work as well as media consuming possibilities. The entire script for this video was written on the netbook. Please note that the netbook has very bad gaming performance unplugged. If you have a netbook, subscribe and stay tuned for how to revive one of these. Plug in for better performance. Now, let's get to the keyboard. The first thing we're going to be talking about is how good the keyboard is. While it takes a bit to get used to, it is relatively good. The computer in general is very good at offline office work. Let's get to the browsing experience. Online and talk about the web browsing experience. The best browser is Chrome 48, a very old version but new enough so that all sites load. Make sure to turn off automatic updates and deny all administrative access prompts, except during the installer. It is an alright watching experience on a YouTube client for low-end devices on the software domain, but on the real YouTube client it is very choppy and unwatchable. URL in description! Now I'm sure you thought, what's the best OS for one of these? With specs like this, my personal favorite is Windows 10 build 1511 32-bit, but for gaming the best OS is Windows 7. I would recommend in having both dual booted together. Finally, for what you've been waiting for, the gaming performance! As we have said, we are going to be using Windows 7. I mean, I could play this if I really wanted to, but that does not mean it's fast by any means at all. And this is with Optifine installed too. Settings completely down. Yep, not a good start. Even with a weak GPU, Call of Duty 1 runs incredibly on this old machine. And looking at the floor, FPS is great, but if you look into the sky, the FPS tanks a lot. But it is playable, and I have played it before. Even more plugged in. We're doing unplugged performance for this, just to give you an actual idea, because, you know, what's the point of a laptop if it's, um, plugged in all the time? Very, very playable. A game that runs incredible is the original Doom. Now, I'm not sure of the FPS, because this is Doom, after all, but it runs incredibly. And I really enjoy playing it. Um, yeah, I played this for a while as well. It just looks super duper good, even for the time. Holds up really well, and it's a really good game. A game that runs well and looks really good is Quake 3. It's a full 3D game that runs at over 100 FPS, even unplugged. And it just looks super duper good. Really futuristic. I'm surprised this runs so well. Time for something equally as important. The battery life. The battery life on this brand new is 3-4 to four hours. As my battery is extremely degraded, it lasts about an hour to an hour and a half. Which is alright considering this thing is really old. With that, I hope you guys enjoyed this simple little review video that I did on this little laptop. It's pretty good. Pretty use it. I'd use it in 2023. I don't know about you guys, but anyway, make sure to like, subscribe. I'll see you all later. Bye!